Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center, headquarters for Wisdom in Golf. And we know what we're talking about. We've done our homework. Stay right here on this channel. I'm gonna show you how to hit a driver beautifully in the center of the club phase, beautifully straight with your feet together. An amazing drill. Stay tuned. Now, I have a ball and a string. This is my ball, that's string, that's string. The string is tied to my hand. My hand represents sternal notch. If I had only one arm and I was cutting grass with just one arm, it would look like this. Notice the center of my swing is my shoulder socket. So, see where the club bottoms out? Right under my shoulder socket every time. So now if I want to mow my lawn, all I got to do is just walk around and let the arm club unit cut the grass. So, this representing my sternal notch, and I want to catch the tee on the way up. So, we set it in motion. We observe where gravity wants to put the low point. Notice the low point is under my right hand, right about the beginning of my right foot. So I bring that over. Now, if I want to catch the T on the way up, I'm just going to bring that over a little more. And hear that? So notice now the ball is bottoming out before it gets to the T, and then it clips it slightly on the way up. Now, if I had fairway woods, I want to do that on the way along the ground. This would be long irons and fairway woods. Notice that's a lot closer to the center. And then if I want to catch it a little bit more on the way down for my low draws or my low running pitches, then I'd play the ball further back. And you notice now how the low point is in front of the T. So, we have driver, and you'll notice that if I'm going to catch it on the way up, especially when you go feet together, I don't even need my flight scope unit for this one. You guys can experience this for yourself. Easy piece of cake. So, if you want, I'll show you how, how far I'm hitting the driver with my feet together. That's not a big deal. So, I'm going to catch the tip of the tee on the way up, versus on the way along. Now, obviously, if I only have nine degrees of loft, I don't want to hit it on the way down and negate my loft. So, I'm going to start off with along the ground. Well, along the ground would have the center of my club head in the center of my stance. You see, the center of mass of this thing is a lot further back from the shaft compared to the irons where the center of mass is right below the shaft. So, if you had, let's say, a soccer ball versus a golf ball, and you put the center of both, golf, both balls in the same place, and you strike it with a big club, you'll notice the bigger ball will tend to go more to the right than the smaller ball, okay? Or the smaller ball more to the left than the bigger ball. The only way those two balls would be able to go in the same, in the same direction is if the back of both balls, the surface, the hitting area, is in the same place, okay? So I want the center of the club and the center of my feet and the ball forward of that for the, the flat line, if you will, or swinging along the ground. This would give me a medium to low ball flight. So if I'm hitting the shot into the wind and, and I want the ball to you know, roll a little bit more, then this is what I would do. Or if I'm hitting from an elevated tee. So now I have my ball in a string. There's the center of my swing. I'm just going to do a couple of practice swings here to show you and watch the blur of the club as it swings. Notice it's clipping the tip of the tee and it's swinging nice and along the surface, about that far above the surface at the tip of the tee. So I'm looking for, here's a, a great visual here, see? I use white tees, there's the tip of the tee, and if I clip the tip of the tee with the sole of the club, the ball is gonna meet the center of the club face, okay? So, I see where gravity wants to put me. I can see the blur. I bring the machine. 
Now it feels like the blur is going to go through the tip of the tee. My eyes are on the tee, not on the ball. So I am picturing and I'm feeling how gravity and the g-forces of the swing are tracking my ball on a string and I'm allowing that to clip through the tip of the tee and that was spot on right in the center of the club face let me do one more for you center of club in the center of my feet gather let it swing through okay so gather let it swing through so we're going to open up the range of motion a little bit more. So I want to catch this on the way up now. I'm going to see the blur of the club where it bottoms out. It's bottoming out about there. Bring it over. Now all I got to do is let the ball in a string release or, or track around the arc. And I'm going to let it clip the tip of the tee on the way up. And I'm just going to stay in that sensation back and through. It's on the way up, still on the way up, still on the way up, still on the way up. Yep, feels like I'm gonna catch it slightly on the way up, back and through. Got it, got it. So launch angle was a lot better on that one. It's launching higher, it'll tend to go farther when you do that. And when you do it feet together on the range, you'll realize that, yeah, you're getting a lot more distance in carry when you're catching it on the way up. So the cool part of what we're doing, and I want you to pay attention, so as you do feet together, the weight of your arm club units going this way, the butt's counterbalancing that. Notice how both femurs and both hips are moving together. See how my knees stay on top of my feet and my hips stay on top of that? I don't want my knees to travel outside my feet. Notice how the weight's going outside my feet. Notice how the weight stays centered in the arch of my feet. So both arches fuse together to form one suction cup and I'm maintaining suction in both directions. Notice how I'm never going to the outside of my feet. Well, never, you know, not, uh, not too much. <laughs> you know, we're not perfect. So I'm going to gather low to high. I feel the arc of my ball on a string right now. I'm feeling the, the club head, the ball tracking around that point already. So I'm just going to allow it to continue tracking and allow it to clip the tip of the tee on the way up and towards my wet paint sign. Oh, hit the E of wet paint. That was absolutely stung exactly where I want it to go, beautifully released. So enjoy this drill, it is phenomenal. You do the fairway woods, by the way, the fairway woods, you would simply play the center of the club and the center of your feet, the ball just forward to that, and then just go ahead and feel the sole of the club deflect along the ground. Listen to the sound. So if the sole of the club is like a big skipping stone, if the sole of the club deflects along the ground as you allow everything to track around that ball in a string, yeah. So hitting driver off the deck is a blast. So feel the weight. I feel it tracking on that ball in a string. I'm allowing it to deflect along the ground. Just fantastic. Enjoy that. And we'll see you in the next one where I'm going to show you how to take feet together to feet apart in the proper weight shift. Okay? Stay tuned.